Hello, during this video I'm going to discuss a very easy way to make NAND gates and NOR gates from P-Channel and N-Channel MOSFETs. So, here's what our basic scenario will be given to you by. You will have two P-Channel MOSFETs and two N-Channel MOSFETs. And you'll be asked, make a NAND gate or make a NOR gate. This may, I mean, this may look difficult, but if you use truth tables and and a little simple memorization, these will come like the back of your hand. So, let's do the NAND gate first. So, like I said before, let's make our series of MOSFETs. And then I'm going to do a truth table up here. A and B are both our inputs, and we have a single output. And in addition to these channels, you have a volt, 5 volt input, and you have ground. And you're going to draw an output line. So we'll start our truth table with zero 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 one one zero one one. Okay. Now, if you don't know the logic for an AND gate, it is basically zero for everything except when A and B are one. So normally for an AND gate, this will be zero 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 one. But since we're doing a NAND gate, it's exactly the opposite: zero one one one. And then. I'm going to teach you how to make, recognize a certain pattern in the output to translate into the p-channel diagram. So let's figure it out. We notice only when a and b are 1, our output is going to be 0, otherwise it's 1. So therefore, we're going to have our daisy chain connection, or like we have to call series connection, on our end channels of when it's ground, because when our output is 0, it's hooked to ground, and when our output is 1, it's connected to 5 volts. So we're going to draw our series connection to our ground. And I should have done this first, but always label your input voltages, or what I like to call it, deciding voltages of A and B. And if you don't remember exactly where to put these variables, just keep in mind that there has to be a variable for every channel. So, um, for example, if you wrote AA, that will conflict with that one rule because B doesn't have a P channel, for instance. And then now, for the rest of the for the rest of the uh, outputs of one for five volts, we'll just make a parallel connection. I'll explain this soon. And let's hook up that to our output line. All right. So basically, there is one set of series connections and one set of parallel connections. And you'll be finding out this in the in our Norgate tutorial. But now let's test this out first to see if it works. So when A and B are both zero, these connections are both made. Uh, I'll put one from the five volts, and these connections are. I'm sorry, these clusters are closed, these connections are open. Therefore, output's 5 volts and not ground, therefore it's 1. So when A, A is 0 and B is 1, this connection is closed, this connection is open, so our output's still connected to the 5 volts. However, when A is 0, this connection is open and this one is closed, so it will not be connected to ground, so this is still 1. Same behavior for the following, 1 and 0, just vice versa. And now when it's 1, 1, these connections are open, so 5 volts is not connected to output in any way. And these circuits are closed, so output is connected to ground, which is 0. And so now we have our final diagram for our NAND gate MOSFET diagram.
Now let's do a NOR game. Let's first draw our truth table. So the logic for an OR gate goes is that whenever there's a 1, it's a 1. I'm sorry, for an OR gate, whenever there's a 1, the output's going to be a 1. So, to complement this, 0, 0 will be 1 and the rest will be just be 0. Now let's draw our channels and the 5 volt inputs and all that. And sometimes I just like to draw that the whole way. And you'll see why just in a moment. We have our ground here. Make that more realistic. Right? There we go. And then 5 volts. Our little node there. Alright, so let's look at our output and try to figure out where everything goes. So our 1 is when A and B are both 0. So, therefore, we're going to have our daisy chain connection here, as opposed to our end channels. We're going to do it to our P channels. So I should have wrote this a little bit better. There we go, and we hook up our 5 volts to here. And don't forget to label these. That's very important. Alright, now let's do our end channels, as you're going to probably guess. We're going to hook up our parallel connection here. That is basically process of illumination logic. Just do the series and then do the parallel on the other side. So now let's double check to see if our transistor worked or not. So, when A and B are both 0, it should be 1. Let's see. So, when A and B are both 0, these connections close. We have an output of 5 volts. Now for ground, none of these are closed. They're all they're both open, so ground is not definitely not connected to out, so therefore it is 1. So now when A is 0 and B is 1, this connection will be open because of this one being off. And this connection will be made because this is open, but yeah, this is closed. So therefore our output is connected to the ground, 0. And vice versa. And now when both A and B are 1, both of these connections are open, so therefore there's no 5 volts connecting to output, and there will be two close connections to the ground, so therefore output will still be 0, so they both check out. Next video I'll be discussing how to make an AND gate and an OR gate in addition to using these, plus using an inverter from my previous video.